Can you mix on headphones? This is the great unanswered question for me on this show. Fearless Gear Reviews is back with an unsponsored look at these, the Slate VSX mixing headphones. Can these things deliver the goods? Can these back up the claims that Slate Digital is making? Let's find out with an unsponsored look. All right, it's no surprise, a lot of you guys just simply don't have the facilities to do mixes in a room in the traditional sense. You either don't have the budget for awesome studio monitors, or you don't have the space, or more than likely a combination thereof. I mean, like, let's face it, who here among Generation Z can actually afford to rent their own place in continental North America these days? Not many, I'm taking a wild guess. That's why mixing headphones seem like such a good idea. The thing that concerns me is that I'm subscribed subscribe to Slate's mailing list, and they're making some pretty fucking big claims in their mails. Like, take a look at this. If the bass sounds big and fat in VSX, it actually is big and fat. If the bass sounds weak, then it is weak. Okay, that's a huge thing for a lot of us, is, you know, taking a mix out of our mix situation and into the real world, and then here, you know, uh, horrible problems with the bass. It usually comes to the fact that we're not getting a true picture of what's going on in the low end in our mixes. If these things will cure that, I'm all for it. The reality is that acoustic bass creates peaks and dips that you won't realize that are there and you unknowingly overcompensate for them. Absolutely true, I've done that a million times. The big question is, are the VSX headphones actually going to fix that issue? We're extremely pleased to see that the solution is working for many thousands of music makers. Truth be told, that would be extremely pleasing for me as well. So I reached out to you guys on Monday Mix Reviews and asked, what do you guys want to see me review? What do you think could be an advantage? And this is the one thing that came up more than often than not, are the Slate VSX headphones. So let's give these things a look at. Let's see what we get in the box. Let's see what we're getting for our money. And should we choose these instead of studio monitors? Now, this does come in two tiers. I got the cheap one. I want to see what you guys are actually going to get. And then I'm going to splurge for a couple of the extra rooms because apparently you can do that. A couple of the virtual rooms, uh, they're kind of an add-on product. And I think I'd go through that process and figure out which ones are good and which ones are not so good and give my recommendation for what it's worth. Anyway, so unboxing here. What do we get? Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see what we get. Ooh, foam. Ugh. Pull up, do not discard. Oh, okay, great. What do we get here? For mixing, spend at least one hour listening to reference mixes in VSX spaces to get accustomed to the software. Okay, that makes perfect sense. So a little bit of instruction there. Here, here's not to completely fuck up your mixes. Good idea. All right, so we get a little foam. Get uh, some product placement stickers, of course. Hey, gotta, gotta whore out that brand one way or another. And here we go. We get... Uh, a nice rigid foam holding these guys in place. Do we get a carrying case for our money? I'd be kind of upset if we don't, honestly. So there's the phones. Well, they're comfy anyway. Oh, we do get a carrying case. Very good. Yeah, yeah these, are, these are a few hundred bucks. You know what I mean? It's like if they didn't come with a case, I'd be very, very unpleased. That's for sure. But that's a good, good thing. Okay. And yeah, we get a nice cable. Now, I was talking with a couple friends of mine who have these. And they said, uh, these things do tend to have what, what I call the stethoscope effect, as if you uh, move the cable or touch it or whatnot, any vibrations you might be putting into that cable get transferred up and into your ears. So that is something to be aware of. I don't know how bad it is. I don't know how pronounced it is. I'm just taking that information secondhand. Let's get these plugged in and I'll see just how bad it is. That being said, if you've got a gamer in your family, uh, you can introduce them to the stethoscope effect, no problem, especially if they're playing with gaming headphones. You can just walk by them while you're playing and go, flick! <laughs> it's uh, endless amounts of fun for everyone but the gamer. Now, I can hear the stethoscope effect a little bit here, just rubbing my finger along this cable. Comes right up into my ear. That's really unfortunate. I mean, like, I'm barely touching this thing and it's like, scrape. Jeez, wow. That's not looking good right out of the get-go, but I mean, like, it, there's more to it than the stethoscope effect. I want to hear not only how these things work in a mix, I want to hear how th good these things are for dialing in an instrument, like a guitar sound or something like that. Because I got to admit, I tend to dial things in a little bit darker, and I'm wondering if these things are going to give me a better bottom end and hear what's going on. Uh, a bit better. My big issue is, you know, if I pull up something like Bogren Digital, I'll notice, you know, they've got things really dialed in nice and they fit great in the mix and there's not a lot of bottom end going on. 
So I'm just kind of wondering if I mic up a cabinet in my room by using these, am I gonna get a clearer picture of what's going on? Very curious to see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over the desktop, I'm gonna get the software installed, and I'm gonna try getting a couple sounds with these after I let my ears get accustomed to them. Here we go. All right, so I moved over the desktop and I was all prepared to take you guys through a mix with this thing and show you how it all works and how it all fits together and whatnot. And then I realized, oh yeah, you really need the headphones to get the effect. Otherwise, it's just gonna sound fucking weird. I mean, like this is what I'm talking about here. So I'm gonna start playback here. What we got set up over here are monitor effects and this is what's going out uh, to the headphones, but it's not actually being printed to the final mix. And the great thing is with Reaper, you can just switch that off, have it that set so it switches off when you hit the render you don't even have to worry about it it's just there it's just you know if you're gonna monitor on actual monitors make sure to turn this shit off otherwise you're gonna go what the fuck why does everything sound so weird i already got burned by that once a couple nights ago so yeah we've the thing comes with a whole bunch of different rooms and whatnot and i'll go through this real quick for the people who aren't wearing headphones because it's just not going to make a lot of sense on studio mode. so this simulates the various rooms and whatnot yeah that's steven slate's room Sonoma Studio, Archon. Archon here was an extra one, and uh, a lot of my friends who have these headphones recommended the Archon midfields, and I tend to prefer uh, mixing in that. That seems to be the number one. Uh, there's also an SUV that comes. There's also the SUV that comes along so you can do like the car stereo check. But I got to say, I think the translation from what you're getting on these headphones is pretty cool. Uh, they're comfortable to work with for long periods of time. I don't have a problem with that. The stethoscope effect really doesn't seem to be affecting me any kind of significant way, which is great. I mean, I've got my headphone out just right here off camera. It's no problem at all to work with these things. So the thing I really like here is the fact I've got all this insane outboard gear over here, just racks and racks and racks of it. I can lean over, make adjustments to it and still remain in the sweet spot. That's the thing I really like about this is the sweet spot is wherever your head is. That's a big plus for working with the system. And I really do like that fact that I can just adjust things. In fact, uh, I used a live tube amp for this upcoming mix, both versions, because I wanted to see what would happen if I was dialing the amp in with the headphones on as well. And I definitely got some very different results. You guys are going to have to tell me which version you like better. But just even dialing in kick drums, snare drums, you know, guitar EQs, all that stuff, and being in the sweet spot totally uh, is a really nice change, to be honest with you. Uh, dialing in the amp and being in the sweet spot, that's fantastic. I haven't really experienced that before so that's that's pretty cool the only downside here i can think of is there were times where i was just kind of i wanted to pull my headphones off and reference across my monitors just because that's what i'm used to doing but the big question is do these things actually work into translating to a mix are they do they have any kind of real advantage over monitors uh i've got my opinions but i'm really curious as to yours so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to run a blind shootout i'm going to run you two mixes of the same song you know, congruently and switch back and forth. You tell me what you like, mix A or mix B, and I'll get back to you guys in a few days uh, with a result. Ultimately, though, I want to know what you guys pick as the better mix, the one I did with my Atom S2Vs or the ones I did with the Slate VSX. Ultimately, though, I think these are a viable option for somebody who might not have access to a, a properly treated room or a budget for studio monitors or you know, living in an apartment that can't turn things up and whatnot. This is a massive step up from the low-budget options out there. That's for sure. Sure. Whether or not they're going to compete with my Atom S2Vs, I want to hear from you guys. You tell me what you think. I'm probably going to wind up doing some more mixes on these things just when it comes to, especially when it comes to dialing in things like guitar sounds and whatnot, because I think that's really freaking cool. I mean, just to go back to the to the mix here we got, looking at the different rooms and whatnot, I mean, like, if we turn turn this off, leave it on and then turn it off, uh, you'll, you'll hear a pretty massive shift. So this sounds fine to me right now. We hit the bypass. There's the mix you guys are all used to hearing. And it really does sound like I'm sitting there in a room. So that's pretty cool. And again, I've got a couple of favorites here. I got the, uh, the Archon Midfields. And the Slate Farfields. And then just bypass. Which it does level matching as well, because if you don't do that, you get this. 
So, yeah, uh, don't hit the blue check there if you're in Reaper. Yeah, hit hit the one in the bottom left. That's a big plus. All right, so here we go. i got to run the full mix. I want to hear from you guys. Leave a comment below. Let me know what mix you liked, mix A or mix B. Hit it! Okay, so that's my unsponsored review of the Slate VSX headphones. I got to say, I think I'm pretty impressed with these. I definitely want to work with these some more. These will definitely be going in my travel bag, that's for sure. So if I want to mix on a plane or a train or something or get some work done that way, I can definitely do it on the road. Definitely fucking cool. Honestly, though, I'm wondering if these might actually wind up replacing my, my full-size studio monitors because even though I got very expensive monitors and I put a lot of money into the room, it's definitely not as ideal as some of the other rooms out there. Maybe not as good as the Archon Studio. I can freely admit that. Maybe that's a better space to mix in, whether or not physically or virtually. And these things do seem to do that. I said, Like I said, I got. I really do like the fact I can, I can really get into the detail of the mix when I'm tweaking things and making mix decisions. It's pretty cool. I still haven't quite figured out if I like what I did with the guitars or not, but it remains to be seen. Once again, I want to hear from you guys, though. That's what's ultimately important. Now, if you guys want to see more content like this, stop on by Monday Mix Reviews because you guys made this one happen. We've got this one. We've got a Kirk Hammett Flying V review coming up soon. We're also going to be taking a look at the Fab Filter Saturn. Those are all completely funded by Monday Mix Reviews and so I can give you guys my unabridged opinion without any corporate fuckery involved whatsoever. It's a win-win for everybody. Come on by. We'd love to check your mixes up. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button and all that kind of stuff. And most importantly, leave a comment below because I want to hear from you and I'll follow this up in a few weeks.